Now, I just need to make sure that you're okay with what's actually happening here. Because now I've taken all the context away, I think it's a little bit trickier to identify what has actually happened here. So what I've done is I look at my first matrix and I look at each corresponding row. Okay, so for example, that is my first row. And to find this element here, to find this element here, this would be the first row and the first column of the resulting matrix. Are you happy with that? The first row and the first column. Okay, which means I need to use the first row of this matrix and the first column of this matrix. And then I multiply corresponding elements together. So first number with first number, second number with second number, third number with third number, and then add them to get this number here. Are you happy with that? Yeah, okay. So in which case then, just to illustrate the point, if I wanted to find if I wanted to find this element here, say, this element here, well, which element would this be in the resulting matrix? It would be the fourth row and the first column, yeah, in the resulting matrix. It's in the fourth row, because one, two, three, fourth row, and the first column, which means that I would use the fourth row from the first matrix and the first column from the second matrix. And I would multiply corresponding elements together just like I was doing above. So seven multiplied by three plus eight multiplied by four plus zero multiplied by two would give me 53. Is that okay? Yeah, so I put it in context for you so then you don't kind of shout at me and go, what's going on here, Alex? Like, you can see, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw up two slightly simpler matrices and I'm going to ask you to do this weird thing called matrix multiplication it's literally going to be the same thing as what you were just doing. So, okay, let's try this. Let's go through this one together. So let's suppose I give you a matrix that looks like this. So let's go 7, 4, 8, 6, 1, and 0. Okay. And then I'm attempting to multiply that with a matrix that looks like this. Let's go 8, 7, 10, 1, two, and let's stick negative one in there because there's nothing stopping me having negative numbers in my matrix as well. Okay, so let's first of all check the dimensions of this matrix or these matrices. What are the dimensions of the first matrix? Are you happy? Two by three because there's two rows and there's three columns. Is that okay? Somebody else then, what's the dimensions of this matrix? Sorry? Excellent because there's three rows and two columns. Is that okay? So let's check this. Can we, first of all, multiply these matrices together? Can we multiply them? Why? Excellent. The inner two dimensions match, which means that we can multiply them together. What are the dimensions of the resulting matrix? Two by two. two. Okay, because that's what the outer two dimensions tell me. So I'm expecting a matrix down here, which has two rows and two columns. Okay, so two rows and two columns. Is that okay? Right. If I want to find this element here, if I want to find this element here, what element would that be? Absolutely right. Yeah, I heard it lots of places. Okay, so first row, first column, which means I'd be using the first row from this matrix and the first column from this matrix. Is that okay? and then I'd multiply corresponding elements together and add them. So I'd do seven multiplied by eight, added to eight multiplied by 10, added to six multiplied by two. Do you see that? Okay, has somebody actually calculated that for me? So seven multiplied by eight is 56, plus 80 is 136, uh, plus 12 is 148. You happy with that? Okay, so in which case then, Let's get rid of that, and let's go for another element. So I can go for any element I'm like, I'm just gonna go in order. So okay, let's go for this one here now. Let's go for this one here. Okay, so what element is this? What position? It's the second column and first row, isn't it? Because you're in the first row still and second column. So yeah, that's what I mean, be careful about this, okay? So first row, second column, which means I'll be using the first row of this matrix and the second column 
of this matrix. So let's do this. 7 by 7, add 8 times 1, add 6 times negative 1 is equal to 51. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Yep. Okay, fine. Let's quickly go through the other two. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. By the way, these blue markers which I'm drawing in, once you start getting good with them, you don't need to draw them in anymore. Okay, I'm just drawing them in for illustra illustrative purposes. All right. Okay, fine. Let's go for this element here. What position is that element? Second row, first column. Absolutely right. Second row, first column. So I'll be using the second row from this matrix and the first column from this matrix. Have you calculated it already? So 4 times 8 plus 1 times 10 plus 0 times 2 is equal to 42. I agree with that. Okay, good. And then finally, let's go for this element down here. So we'll just get rid of that and get rid of that. Okay, so this element here is in which position? <laughs> yeah, good. So second row and second column, which means to calculate this element here, I do 4 times 7, add 1 times 1, add 0 times negative 1, which is, finish it off for me, sorry, 29. There you go. Okay, so we'll get rid of that now. And get rid of that. And get rid of that. This is how you multiply matrices together. Okay, that process that I've just shown you, the more practice you do, the quicker you'll get. But that's how you do it.